Our society is so boring, it's fake. What we see and what we feel are two different things. Did you go to school to get good grades and get a great job because society told you so or did you do it for a greater purpose? To support a family, to support your brothers and sisters, nephews, nieces, cousins, son, daughter. There has to be a purpose in this life. And so often I feel that no one has a purpose because of the comfort zone. Whether they're sitting on a trust fund or waiting for an inheritance, this is what our society has become. They're waiting around to collect. They always have their hand out because they're too damn weak to go out and work for it themselves. And then you have the other end of the spectrum where they just want pity. They didn't go to college because they said they can't afford it. They didn't go to college because they said they only had one daddy or one mommy. Well, guess what? 85% of self-made millionaires were homeless. And look where they are today. And look where you are today. In your mother's bathroom, taking a selfie. Our society is ridiculous. You need to wake up. If you're surrounded by any of these people, you need to remove yourself immediately. I don't care if it means leaving your family. If you have to leave your family in order to get around people that are like-minded and are gonna be a mastermind circle and have an influence on your life, then so be it. Don't be scared of anything in life. Franklin Roosevelt said the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And to add to that, we should never fear anything that's physical. In my opinion, the greatest fear is what's psychological, because that's what destroys people. That's what eats away at you at night. That's what eats away your subconscious mind. That's what makes you go to sleep in the middle of the day because they, it tells you that you're tired. That's what makes you leave work early. Your subconscious mind and your psychological thoughts are what's limiting your salary, not your character traits. Your character traits are stuck under a blanket that your subconscious mind has thrown over it, locked it away, and, and thrown out the key. So fear fear and fear your subconscious mind, your psychological thoughts. They have more power than you would ever imagine. Whenever something bad happens to you, don't go around blaming it on anyone else. This is so often seen, it, it, it furiates. Just take responsibility no matter what it is. Man up, woman up. Outrageous. Silly, it actually is silly if you think about it. We don't accept the good, we don't accept the bad. We have our hand out for an inheritance or a trust fund. We're a lifeless society. We are a lifeless society. And those who don't see that, is the sole purpose of me even making these videos. Listen, I know that I can help you out and change your life and move your life in a profound way. I was talking to a very good friend of mine the other day and he says, well, how do you come out with so many videos so quick? And you have all this content, where does it come from? Where does it come from? This is, what I, this is what I say on a daily basis to everyone that I mentor at work, all my peers. I don't stop talking, I don't stop thinking, and that's why. What did, what did Napoleon Hill say? Men simply don't think. That is the greatest tragedy in the world. They're not thinking, they're going about their life on autopilot, thinking that they're just victims. They're victims of events that have happened that they are not happy about. And that's why I make these videos. Do you really think that I need to make these videos? Let's be real here. Okay? I don't need to do anything. Just like you don't have to do anything. There's so many people are stuck in that way of thinking. You don't have to, you don't need to do anything. You choose what to do. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, take responsibility. Whether this eats away at my time or hinders my thinking from my, off my career beaten path, doesn't matter because you know what? Whatever my path may be, I never forget about my vision and my purpose. And my purpose is always to bring value. So if this is gonna to contribute to my vision and bring value, don't you think it's worth it? 
start to see the opportunity cost. Just focusing on some obligation that most likely doesn't even exist, but right behind that non-existent obligation are tremendous opportunities that I want to help you grasp. You deserve so much more. Don't let anybody or anyone tell you otherwise.